So then that's it, and your freckles are done. Hi Vogue, welcome to my get ready with me video. I know everyone's just itching to know what I do to my face and to my, um, to my makeup routine. What's my makeup routine? So I love the Vogue videos where they do like the, um, skincare routines and makeup routines. So I was like, you know what? I'm not famous or anything and no one cares about my makeup routine or skincare routine, but maybe in a year my skincare and makeup routine is gonna be completely different and it's kind of fun to look back on it and be like, wow, I missed that product. I should go back to it. So we're here. We're doing a Vogue Get Ready With Me. I wore my silk robe to really get into the aesthetic of uh, Vogue. Let's get started. So if I'm washing my face in the morning, which I don't always wash my face in the morning because sometimes I'll just use um, my micellar water just because I heard it's not good to wash your face in the morning if you did a skincare routine at night because then you're going to dry out your face. So I don't always do that. But if let's say I didn't take off my makeup the night before or I feel like my skin is just like disgusting, I'll use this bar of soap, this seaweed charcoal bar. And I put it in my friend Isabella made me this cute clay pot. So I put it in there. So I'm gonna wash my face because I didn't do my skincare routine last night. So I really prepped for this video, guys. <laughs> uh, before I wash my face, obviously I have bangs. Um, I did not want to wash them today, so I just put dry shampoo in them. They still look pretty disgusting. But I'll just put like a hairband and like a scrunchie in my hair and just kind of get it out of the way. Otherwise, I've done it before where I'm like, I don't need a hairband. Then they get all wet and then I have to dry them. Oh, I look crazy. I love that. So I just washed my face. Um, and in the Vogue videos, they usually do like a face mask afterwards or before. I don't know. But like, I'm too lazy to do a face mask because it's 1 p.m. And I'm not about to do that. But when I do a face mask, which is usually at night, if anything, um, I like this one. My mom got like a Fab Fit Fun Box for Christmas not sponsored but it came in it the box it's really good it says brightening which I never used to use brightening masks I have acne and I used to always use like acne masks but honestly this works better than like any face mask that I've used except the Aztec clay ones like pretty good too but I'm just using this because I have it and I really like it but I'm not gonna do it now but it's purple after I wash my face and even after I do a mask I usually do um, my cellar water. If I had witch hazel, I would use it, but I'm just trying to finish this. It has aloe in it, which I don't know if that helps. You, witch hazel I like the best. It like, for me, gets rid of redness, but because I have very red skin. Um, but anyways, so I just do that. Um, my skin right now is actually pretty good. I feel like I used to have really, really bad skin in the past like month. I've been like, what are you doing? I, I just need to get back on that grind of skincare. So after I do that, I put on a Van Clearance Expert. It's from France. I don't know if it really works, but I feel like I'm putting like acne treatment on my skin. So I feel like, wow, like I'm really taking care of myself. And I just try to be gentle because it's not reason to be rough. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, so after that, my face feels like pretty dry because of the toner and the washing so I try to put most moisturizer like as soon as possible after I wash my face because I don't want my dry my skin to dry out too much so as my moisturizer I've been recently using this I don't know how to pronounce it I'm French and I don't know how to pronounce it but it's by Aven as well as the other one and it's like the best moisturizer for acne scars in the morning I just put like this much but in the evening I put like twice that amount and I really like layered it on um, and it doesn't give me acne. Most people think that moisturizer like helps create acne, which sometimes it can, but this one doesn't. And I have eczema on my, around my mouth sometimes. So if I have like a flare up, I'll try to put a lot on there because it helps repair skin breaks, I guess. Mmm, moisturized. Before I put on makeup, I like to put chapstick on 
as I said, I have eczema around my, li uh, around my lips, but sometimes it's on my lips. So that's not cute for makeup. So then for my primer, I use the Tarte Pour. The name's rubbed off because it's so old. <laughs> They're mattifying one, I think. No. But I just put like a little bit. Also, I'm feeling pretty self-conscious because my window's open so that the lighting looks good and I'm scared that all my neighbors are gonna hear me doing like a Vogue get ready with me. That's not embarrassing at all. But I don't care, you know what? I don't care at all. I used to wear like heavy foundation, but right now I'm into like French beauty, I guess. I don't know, maybe it's because I lived in France and I was inspired by that or because I've been watching a bunch of these Vogue where it's like a bunch of French women doing like a very minimal French beauty. If I'm wanting to wear foundation, I'll use the Tarte Amazonian Clay full coverage, but I'll use like the tiniest amount, um, like literally tiny. I'll try to put it on as soon as I put the primer on so that it's like kind of mixes in and it becomes kind of sheer because I don't want to look like I'm wearing, and I just put it with my hands. I, I used to use a beauty blender, but my beauty blender got moldy. So uh, I had to resort to using my hands and now I just am too lazy to go buy a beauty blender. So I just use my fingers. See, I don't know that that did anything, but to me, I feel more even. So then for my concealer, I use the Fenty Beauty Concealer. Um, this is too light for me, but um, it's almost empty. So I'm just gonna finish it. And I just put it on the spots that I need. I don't really put it under my eyes because weirdly enough, I feel like my eyes, even though they do have like darkness, they were like quite light underneath. And I feel like if I put concealer, it just looks like I have white rings underneath my um, eyes. And it just looks weird. And then I learned this from like Ingrid uh, on YouTube, like when I was 12, that you were supposed to pat on your concealer. It allows it to stay in place and not like move around. I used to watch YouTubers like Ingrid and Zoella and I was like obsessed with them. I love them. I'm kind of far from the camera. The lighting's also kind of weird. Sorry about it. I am just using natural lighting because I'm not a full-time YouTuber yet. I gotta work with what you got. So once my concealer is all in, I sometimes use a powder if it's like really hot outside and if I'm feeling super oily, I'll use, um, right now I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. It's whatever, it's not like the best, but what are you gonna do about it? Um, a couple days ago I bought this Wet n Wild um, Dual Ended Contour Stick. I like Wet n Wild because it's cheap and because they don't, they're vegan or most of their stuff is vegan, I think. So I just do this on my cheekbones. Sometimes I'll do it there. But then you kind of have to blend it like pretty fast because you don't want to have like lines. So I use this Eco Tools flat brush and I just like buff it in. And I also tend to do this for a while because I don't want it to look like I'm wearing like a line of makeup. Like I probably should have blended that a little earlier. I never let myself go outside of the house with um, like lines of contour. Unless that's what you're you know, going for. Unless your name's Trixie Mattel, go for it. You know what I mean? But then it's pretty good. I usually just do that just because I put concealer and sometimes it can make my look, nose look quite flat with just concealer. I love getting ready in the morning because then the next, the rest of the day feels like, oh, I already did something, you know? I already feel really productive and ready to go. I can, I'm up for anything. That looks pretty good. So if I'm not doing that, I'll usually do um, the ColourPop bronzer and I'll just put a little and I'll use that as my contour. But today, I feel like being bronzy because in LA, it's January 6th, 72 degrees, so I love that for us. I feel like I'm lucky enough to have some natural cheekbone definition, but I 
I mean, it's everyone's goal to look like Bella Hadid, I feel like. So, like Bella Hadid and her cheekbones. Who's to say if they're fake or not? I don't know. That looks so orange. But that's okay, because we're going to put blush and then... <clears throat> it's going to be better, right? Right, guys? <laughs> There's no one here with me. So after I do that, I go to my blush. And I use the blush stick by ColourPop in the color Under Pressure. And I just dab it on. And on my nose. And same with like the other things. Like I just really wanted to look like I'm not wearing makeup, so I really try to blend it in a lot. Do you see what I mean by like my under eyes are like white? Like I didn't put concealer underneath I feel like they look white I like to look really red like I have a sunburn and my mom was always like Carolyn you should blend in your brush it looks very red pink and I'm like mom I'm doing it on purpose and then sometimes I'll look in the mirror I'm like holy shit I look like a clown so after that recently I've been doing <clears throat> freckles but I have freckles I have freckles, it's just once I put on makeup, you can't see them anymore. So, I came up with this amazing tactic. It's using my eyebrow pencil, and I just blend them and blend them and blend them to where they look like I, they're, they're super natural. You'll see. They look very natural to me. I don't know. So I use this like NYX um, eyebrow pencil for my freckles because I hated it as an eyebrow pencil and I just wanted to finish it. And I was like, oh, let me try to draw freckles. But I don't fill in my eyebrows because I have bangs, and there's no point. You're not going to see my eyebrows, so I just don't bother with it. Um, sometimes I do if I'm crazy and I'm really feeling like it, but most of the time I don't. So, with my freckles, I just, I make sure the pencil's super sharp, and then I just go like that. And then I try to find my natural freckles, and I darken those. I do quite a lot. So then that's it, and your freckles are done. <laughs> Pretty good. But no, then I'll take my uh, e.l.f. complexion brush, and I'll like kind of dense, dense it up, and I'll stipple at it, I guess, um, until you can almost not even see the freckles anymore. But you can't. They just look natural and not like whatever that is going on there. Ow. I got my brush in my eye. Hello? I just, I started doing this not too long ago, but I just find that it makes my natural makeup look natural. And then I obviously, if there's some that are still kind of dark, I'll leave them. That looks pretty good to me. So then my favorite part comes up. Highlighter. Sometimes I just wear blush and highlighter and nothing else, and I just, I love it. I use the ColourPop Super Shock in the color pearlized no in the color lunch money and this i think is like the best highlighter for natural makeup because you can just use your fingers because it's like putty but it's not it's a powder i don't know what they're doing over there in the color pop labs but if you guys want to invite me over there don't be shy just put some more don't be shy i put like a lot on my finger and I just pat it in because I don't want it to rub off my freckles that I made. Sometimes I'm an idiot and I usually put my highlighter on before I do my freckles and then when I use the brush, the highlighter kind of just like goes all over my face. But see right now I feel like I don't have enough blush on so I'm going to add some more blush. So this is the makeup that I'll do like for auditions but for every day as well. Because I just want to look like I'm not wearing makeup but cover every one of my imperfections. No, that's a lie, like I do, I, I wanna keep some of my imperfections, like obviously you can still see my acne scars, but I, I don't really care. And then my dark circles, hey, I didn't get a lot of sleep because I have a lot of anxiety at night and sometimes it keeps me up till 4 a.m. And that's okay. I don't wanna look like Rudolph, so. Okay, so then before I put on my mascara, I do setting spray. And right now I've been using from that same Fab Fit Fun box that my mom got for um, Christmas. 
I use this that came in it. Kula setting spray, but it has SPF. So I feel like I'm taking care of my skin. And it absolutely burns when you put it on. Absolutely burns. So like why is this burning so much? <laughs> but it smells like Hawaii because it has SPF. I don't know if it works, but I feel like I'm taking care of my skin. And then it kind of, obviously the setting spray makes it look like more natural. And for mascara, I'm using um, Urban Decay Perversion. Waterproof mascara. I got this because I was going to the Bahamas and I was using the Better Than Sex mascara. But I found that like at the end of the day it would just smudge and then I tried the waterproof better than sex and I hated it because it's just like dry. And so then I go to Sephora and I'm like, hey lady, what's like a good vegan waterproof mascara? And she said this one. I kind of disagree with her. Um, it's not that great. It's whatever. I used to do really heavy mascara but now I try to just do like one normal coat and then one like just with the tips of the lashes. I have pretty long lashes, but the tips of them are blonde. So, sorry, I'm trying to look at the mirror behind me, behind the camera, and uh, it's not working, so I'm gonna use this little mirror. <laughs> and then I just do like a very light coat on my bottom lashes. Sometimes I'll do white eyeliner on my waterline, but that's usually when I like go out and I'm like really doing my makeup. But I like the way that looks, it makes my eyes look a lot bigger. Like I kind of hate this mascara, but I'm just trying to use it up because I would feel bad if I didn't. Does anyone else feel like bad when they don't finish makeup? I feel like I keep it until it's like three years old and then I go back to it and I'm like, I should finish this. Anyway, so then I usually put a little more chapstick on before I do my lips and then I use, this is what I use like pretty much every day or I use the ColourPop Ultra Blotted, Ultra Blotted um, lipstick, which I really like right now. I'm gonna go get it so I can show it to you guys. So the Pacifica one is like Sweet Ones. It was a Valentine's Day special. I think, I don't think they sell it anymore, but the formula is super dry. So I don't put it on like a lipstick. I like pat it on and kind of like that. Um, and then with the, chapstick underneath it kind of like helps blend it through but this one's the one I've been using every day like for the past three weeks and it's um ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip it's in Cypress Chill the blotted look is like what I go for usually and with this one it's the same thing like if you put it on like a like a like their ultra matte lipstick like a lipstick um it's, it just looks like very weird so I blot it on mostly in the center then I take my finger. And see, I like that. It just looks like pink, but natural as well. Cypress Chill, it's a good one. So that's that for my makeup. So now I can take my hair down. And I use the wet brush to brush my hair. It's very tangled. My bangs are super long right now. I'm not growing them out or anything, but I kind of am liking the long bang look. Maybe they're a bit too long. Maybe I should trim them today. Can't really see. But I like them to look messy and not too like, you know? You know what I mean? Like kind of 60s French Brigitte Bardot. So I'll usually put a barrette in my hair, but, but I don't feel like going to get that right now. Like if I do put a barrette, it's like, I'll kind of grab these back pieces. Let the rest, let's see if I have one. I don't have one, but I would just grab like these pieces, make it look kind of like it's naturally that way. I guess I can use this to show the example. And I don't mind if it goes to a middle part, my bangs, but that's that. That's my look. Thank you Vogue for joining me. I really appreciate it. And please subscribe and like this video because I'm going to be doing a lot more videos um, I have a lot of videos planned. I'm filming another one today. So please subscribe so that you're you're aware of everything. It's gonna be a lot of fashion videos. 
Uh, this is probably the last beauty related video I'll do for a while, but uh, a lot of like fashion videos, thrift videos, lookbooks. Um, my goal is to do a short film for this this year, so please subscribe to me. I can, you know. Okay, bye.